Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here to tell you the whisper of the day. But before we get to today's whispers, let's talk about yesterday's whispers. So yesterday, I um, showed you those weekly whispers. Um, yeah, wow, Costco, our next swing up. Uh, it was 177.50 to 182.50, and holy cow, went all the way up uh, to the next swing. Uh, so what, watch this 185 level. That's really, really key. This has been on a tear. Uh, if you're not in this already, I would look uh, for a break above 185 or a pullback to 177.50. All right, those are definitely the two levels. Starbucks um, also had a nice move to uh, 58 and change, having a pullback this morning. 57.50 is the key level to watch on that as well. Uh, still uh, bullish on AT&T. Watch that 37 level for uh, another trade to the upside. Um, and GE could not break above 1875. No trade there. Chipotle had a nice move up a couple dollars. Uh, we're still bullish above 300 on that. And Ford continue to watch 1250. Did not really move too much yesterday, but we had a high volume doji yesterday. So we're going to be really uber bullish if we can close above 1265. And then I would turn bearish if we close below 1242. That's how those high volume dojis work. Traders were hot yesterday, but one trader in particular, his name is Ram. We call him the Wall Street Wiz. And he was killing me yesterday. Nice trading, Ron. And we all appreciate. Uh, those call outs and those levels and of course your amazing charts. So thank you so much. All right What are we watching today? So much stuff you guys. All right. We had lots of prints coming in uh, Let's just talk about Apple Unusual high volume yesterday. Look at these big block trades that were coming in this one in particular 1.7 million 171 62 172 and 171 so it's really easy we're going to be bullish only above 172 and bearish below 171 which is where we are now so after the first 10 minutes that's always the crazy time if we are below all those prints i'm going to be bearish as a swing trader okay that's where i look for where we close if we close below all that definitely uh, uber bearish and you can see apple is starting to move down 170 key level we tested it once if we break down below that look out below for apple 165 is the next major level down we had 13 million printed on tv this is insane that's huge you can see the volume coming in you know is this the bottom this has really gone downhill for quite a while as you can see the big boys love to buy at the bottom massive volume so the print happened at 1870 so we are going to be bullish above 19 if we close above here all right that's going to be bullish and of course if we uh close below 1850 always want to be prepared on both sides even if you think something is a buy or a sell be prepared on both sides of the trade so going to be bearish below uh, 1850 on that. Also, we had some really, really big prints on Snap yesterday at $13.80. So here's the setup for Snap. Uh, we're going to be bullish above 14. Okay. And going to be bearish below 1360, but uber bearish if we were to break below 13. 1850 for that now check out this print this morning i posted this on the dark pool app already on ciu this is really fascinating this is the uh, bond credit bond etf now what's interesting is where is this volume this big print 650,000 shares at 109.44 you can see there's no volume today but look at yesterday's because a lot of times it's a late print from yesterday. But yesterday did not even have that much volume. It only had 371,000 shares. What is that? 
manipulation in the dark pool, you guys. Something is going on. They're hiding this volume. It's not in yesterday's candle. It's not in today. Uh, so, you know, keep your eye on this. 109.44, of course, will be bullish above 109.50. And I would be bearish below 109.37. That's three eighths. All right, so let me just tell you about the dark pool and the massive levels that we've been getting in on the SPY. We had uh, recently uh, one of the biggest levels, 18 million at 262.84. Okay, these were late buy prints that came in from the day before. We had two days in a row of this same level, 262.84. So this is really key bullish above but if we break below that you guys it's going to be very very bearish so that's a key key level to watch we had another 18 million at 260 25 which were way above so these are two very very big dark pool levels also we had a pretty big uh, million share print on ung yesterday million shares which is unusual in the middle of the day at 604 so watch this uh, 620 all right, going to be bullish above that. Come watch me trade along with my amazing traders in the Java pit all day long. I share my screen. I do audio meetings. I teach while I'm trading. I think that's always the best way to learn. Uh, and if you can't be in our room, definitely dark, download the Dark Pool app um, and unlock the private feed. That's where I'm posting all of these unusual trades all day long. Happy trading, everybody. You can get